This is Geneva camp in Dhaka, Bangladesh, where 30,000 people have lived like animals in a ghetto for more than 40 years through discrimination and total apathy from their own Muslim brothers. There are 70 similar camps across Bangladesh. This is not a typical third world story of poverty and despair, but of a largely forgotten people, the Bihari refugees of Bangladesh who for more than 40 years have been forced to live on the fringes of society and trapped in limbo by a nation that does not want them and will not help them leave. These refugees, numbering about 160,000, exist merely as numbers on ration cards, but they ask only to be recognized as human beings. Geneva camp in Dhaka is one of 70 temporary refugee camps set up by the International Red Cross after the 1971 Liberation War, which saw the eastern wing of Pakistan break away to form present-day Bangladesh. The war ravaged this Urdu-speaking community and left them cut off from their former homeland in Pakistan. Most Biharis refused to take sides during the 1971 war. In the years that followed, Thousands of Bengalis were allowed to return to Pakistan. But with few exceptions, Biharis that wanted to return to Pakistan were denied permission and have languished in camps ever since. This is a true agreement signed by the government of Bangladesh, India and Pakistan in 1974. And Government of Pakistan and Bangladesh assure us that you will be repatriated to Pakistan within a three years. But 41 years already passed and we are waiting that plane is coming. Conditions in Geneva camp are dire. Residents live in 8-foot by 8-foot cells that also serve in some cases as their workshops. Privacy is non-existent and sanitation is so bad that municipal workers have refused to collect refuse from the camp. Nearly 30,000 residents share only 270 toilets. Most of them have no national ID card and can't obtain alternative housing or decent employment. We have requested the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh on a frequent occasion, even in return, that we are also human beings, at least on a humanitarian ground, you please come forward. Help us rescue from the present situation and horrible situation. <laughs> Male residents in the camp scratch out a meager living running small shops, while the women, most of them illiterate, are largely unemployed, except when they can find piecemeal sewing and embroidery jobs. A few have managed to find informal work at local garment factories. Only six of the country's 70 camps have a school, so the bulk of the estimated 19,000 school-aged Bihari children receive no formal education. The school at Geneva Camp educates about 600 children, but the poverty of most families means that the majority of children here get no formal education at all. I face many difficulties in education because my father has not enough money to education and uh, outside uh, behaviors are not good for our community. I have faced many problems uh, in education money a day, so I have thought that I will give these children's education in your best life program. Conditions in other Bihari camps are not much better and often much worse. Residents of Adam Z. Geneva camp in Narayanganj district, about 25 kilometers south of Dhaka, 
suffer from chronic flooding after a newly built factory blocked their drainage facilities. Most of the houses fill with water, even after a light rain. Camp officials have complained to local authorities, but nothing has yet been done. We most humbly request the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, the world leaders, the world community, United Nations Organization, UNSF, UNICEF, and other diplomatic agencies who are working for the humanity in distress to please come forward and we have lost everything what we had previously but please save us save our new generation who are in the path of unition little has changed for biharis in the past four decades and most of them have lost hope that they will ever be allowed back to pakistan in fact, about 70% of all Biharis now want to remain in Bangladesh, but only if they are granted the rights given to their Bengali brethren. But stuck in camps, without sympathy or support from the government or civil society groups, the plight of the country's Biharis is not likely to change anytime soon. This is Rock Ronald Rosario. UCA News, Dhaka, Bangladesh.